up for it, find it, make it your own. It's the Get Thrifty Podcast. Welcome to the show. Welcome listeners. Welcome thrifters, pickers, antiquers, and DIYers from all over the country. You have discovered the Get Thrifty Podcast, brought to you by ARC Thrift Stores right here in colorful Colorado. ARC Thrift Stores is a Colorado thrift store chain, and if you are visiting Colorado, please check out one of our 31 Front Range and Western Slope locations. You won't be disappointed. I am your host, Maggie Savick, and we are all about sharing everything that has to do with shopping secondhand. We've discovered that thrift customers are literally some of the most unique and gifted people out there, and we want to talk to all of them. But don't let our location deter you. We're going to talk to all sorts of interesting people who live and breathe thrifting, whether you believe in shopping secondhand because of its positive impact on the environment or because you're searching for that one special treasure. We're even going to talk to people who make a living upcycling and live to resell online. If you are a person who's part of our unique thrift culture, please contact us. We'd love to promote your business and your social channels and share your stories and advice with our listeners. Find us on Instagram at ArcThrift. Send us a DM and let's chat. Listeners, I'm so excited. Please welcome the show, Paula. Paula most people call her P, is a 44 years young wife, mother of two sons, avid thrifter, and owner of Thriftin' with P. Thriftin' with P was born out of her love for thrifting and her passion for letting all women of all sizes know they can thrift. P joins us all the way from Virginia. We are so excited to have you, and I'm absolutely obsessed with your styling videos on Instagram, so we're going to get into that. Welcome to the show, P. Hi, how are you? So excited to have you. And I really am stoked. First of all, you're one of my first out of state guests. So very jazzed so about that. Exactly. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for having me and wanting me on the podcast. Well, we're just so excited. We are, we hope that your followers will be excited about this podcast and support you and listen and all of that. And then we hope we can bring you new followers right here yes. in Colorado. We Thank can, you. we consider ourselves the Mecca for thrift, but I want to dig into Virginia, but before we get into all that, I like to dive in at first with the start of every show, tell us your DNA. I'm dying to know all of your story. How'd you get into thrift? What's your story? Well, I got into thrifting first because of necessity. Um, When my sons were smaller, they had a picture day coming up and we did not have money to go out and buy them new stuff. And they were, um, have grown out of their old um, clothing. So I had $10. And I decided to go to the thrift store and I was able to buy both of them complete outfits from head to toe. Um, After that, I was hooked. I still did it out of necessity. Now I do it just because I love it. Um, So I've been doing it for quite a while now. So that's how I actually started um, thrifting was out of necessity for um, an outfit for my boys for picture day. I love it. You know, many people say it starts out of necessity and then they get really addicted. And I love that. So, so give us a sense of Virginia. What part of Virginia are you from? Tell us about the secondhand scene there. I am from Norfolk. Well, I am originally from New York, but I've been in Virginia for the last, my son's 19 till 19 years. Um, I, I, I I love thrifting here uh, because there's so many different, um, just shops. We have vintage. Uh, there's a lot. The, the vintage scene is huge. Um, I don't usually shop vintage only because vintage pieces in my size, be, it can be rare because vintage pieces are sized differently. They can say they're my size, but they're like three, four sizes smaller. Um, I actually shop at a store called Thrift Store City. It is one of my favorite thrift stores um, just because they have a wonderful plus size section. Um, prices are great. And I just love it. Um, I also shop at Goodwill, Salvation Army, um, boutique thrift stores. So it's, it's definitely, when I first started, I didn't realize it was such a huge um, community of thrifters. But now uh, after, when I realized thrifting was actually a huge thing was when I got on Instagram mm-hmm. and I was like, wow. It's a, it's huge. So yeah, it's definitely huge in Virginia, in my area. And I'm close to the DMV. um, That's uh, Delaware, Maryland, Virginia. 
um, DC, Maryland, Virginia. So um, I go there to thrift with my sister a lot because she lives in the DC area and it is amazing. Oh my it's God. Truly, truly amazing. I love that. Well, let, let's dive into this myth that you kind of talked about. The the idea that full-figured people can't shop through it because they won't find their sizes. You're really doing this awesome service by dispelling that myth. I mean, it's simply not true. Tell us all about how you figured out how to shop for plus sizes. Well, first you have to have patience. Um, there's a myth that when when you're when you're plus size woman and you're thrifting, that the only thing they're gonna have are like moo-moos or non-trendy clothing yes you find moo-moos I love them I buy them as well but there's also you know a, a lot of plus size clothing that's trendy that are on brand that are unique uh, when I realized that women who were plus size didn't believe that they could thrift was when I was at work when I worked in the office I work from home now since the pandemic um, they would say oh I love your outfit and I'll be like, oh, I paid 50 cents for this or whatever. And they're like from the thrift store. And they're like, it would always say, I can't, I can't thrift because I'm plus size. And I'm like, I'm way bigger than you. You can definitely thrift. So that's when I realized like a lot of women who are, you know, a size 14 or up or 18 and up and, you know, 20 and up, they feel like, you know, they wouldn't be able to thrift because they're not going to have anything trendy or cute. And that's when I was like, I, I started blogging about it. Um, I was like, you could definitely thrift. I am, I am true. Like every day I prove this fact, you know, like I can thrift and I am a true plus size woman. I have hips, I have curves, I have the chest. So, and I always find something and you have to open your imagination. You can mm -hmm. look at something and be like, oh, it's, it's outdated. But then you have to think, okay, what in my closet can I pair this with? You just have to think outside the box and I, I enjoy it. And I love to show women like, okay, you can style something. You can have a piece that you find at the thrift store. You may go and find only one thing, but what, how many looks can you do with this one piece mm -hmm. that you found? So I enjoy showing women that they can, who are not the normal straight size can definitely thrift and look good you know, with the pieces that they find. Absolutely. And I'm loving your style videos. In fact, before we go any further, can you tell us your Instagram handle so that I, I have listeners tell me they like to listen and look at the Instagram page at the same time. So what's your Instagram handle so people can check that out? It's thrifting with P it's T H R I F T I N with W I T H P. Perfect. And your style videos really do just that. You show one piece, the one that I'm thinking about most recently, it was like a cardigan, beautiful sweater, mm -hmm. and you paired it with like five different outfits from like super trendy to more casual. And really you're showing what kind of high fashion looks you can get out there at a thrift store. I mean, it, it's amazing to me. I, I'm really blown away with the high fashion looks that you're doing. Let's also talk about um, one of the things I'm loving on your page also is this thrifted versus the retail. And you're showing like Louis Vuitton yes. versus, tell us about that. What started that? And oh my God, I mean, you found some Manolos with some oh. literally that looked exactly like Manolos for $5 versus the thousand dollar shoes. Tell us about this. Yes, so the, the thrift for retail is I wanted to show people, women, that you can, you don't have to spend so much money on something that you find in retail that you can, you can, you can get it at the thrift store. When I want something, I always go to the thrift store first, always to see if I can find it. Sometimes I can find this, you know, something that looks exactly alike. Sometimes I find things that, that look almost like it, but I'm getting the same look for less. Mm -hmm. But there are times like I can find the same exact, there was a dress, it was blue and black. I think it was Ashley Stewart. It was the same exact dress. I found it for like $7, $6 new with tags versus the Ashley Stewart dress, that same dress that's online for like $50. So these are things that I'm finding in the store, in my size, size 20, 22, that you can, you know, that 
that I didn't have to pay a whole lot for. So I love to do the thrift versus retail, especially when I do a whole outfit. It's like some outfits, there was one that I did, the bag alone was over a thousand dollars. So it was like a Gucci bag. Amazing. And my entire mm-hmm. outfit was like $12.50, including the bag, the shoes, <laughs> the jacket. And I got the same exact look for less. So I like to people to see, like you can get that, you know, thousand dollar look and you can recreate it at the thrift store so easily, you know? So, I mean, like I always, if I was smaller, it would be like, it would be a problem because I would be (laughs) shopping all the time. There's so many great gems in the thrift store. Um, You just have to look, have patience, but I love to style clothes. I love to show that I like to get the maximum wear out of like a piece so I don't buy a piece unless I can wear it through every season. Um, I can, you know, like I can get the maximum wear out of it. Mm-hmm. So that's what I try to show, you know, on my page. Like if you have a dress, but this dress five, six, seven ways, you know? So that's why I'd love to do my styling videos and the recreation videos. They really are helpful. And I love what you're saying about patience and having an open mind. And a, another buzzword that I'm, I'm feeling like you use a lot too, is this, this idea of sustainability and giving clothes a second life. You know, why is sustainability important to you? Why is it, you know, part of your character and what you do? And one of the reasons you shop secondhand. Choosing secondhand first is just because it's just my part of helping the environment. You know, um, it, 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 so many things end up in landfills and just air pollution. Just so many things that um, that we can do. Small things by just shopping thrift to help the environment. So this is just my small way of helping the environment and just showing women that you know you can have a sustainable wardrobe and still be fashionable and trendy. Mm-hmm. So with me, if I buy something at the thrift store and I'm like, okay, it doesn't fit, or I feel like, you know, it's just not my aesthetic anymore. I will just, I put it back into the thrift store, you know, rotation so it can go to someone else and then they can give it a third or fourth life, mm-hmm. you know? So I just keep it going. So it, you know, everything just doesn't just like, okay, it's going to end up in a landfill somewhere. And just, that is just one of, it's just my way of showing that I am helping out in my small part of helping keeping the, you know, helping the environment. Well, I love that piece of it. And, you know, you've said that you've got, you have sons, um, I do as well. And, you know, either kids or teens right now are either like obsessed with thrift or they're kind of on the fringe or they're like totally against it. What's your advice to moms out there? How do they get their kids to understand the value of shopping thrift if they're not already like ingrained in the thrift mindset? My sons will thrift. It's, it's, it's surprising because my oldest son is very picky, but to him it's you know you find he finds cool like t-shirts that he likes so they both will be like mom when you go to the can we go to the thrift store i want to check to see if there's something there only thing with teens is once they are done they're ready to go like <laughs> they're ready to go they don't find something <laughs> they're like you know i have a whole system so um but yeah when with for for moms with kids i mean yeah it is a it is a like I love it or I hate it. But right now, thrifting is so popular. Mm-hmm. I don't think that when I go thrifting, there are always tons of teenagers in there getting stuff. So I think that it's the end thing now. When I was a kid, it wasn't the end thing. Mm-hmm. You know, thrifting was looked mm-hmm. down upon. But now it is such a thriving um, market. Thri- it's just a thriving industry. Mm-hmm. And everybody does it rich you know, the, the people who don't have a lot of money. I mean, like everybody literally thrifts. So um, I think that people who don't thrift is just because they are not sure how to. Mm-hmm. I don't think they're just mm-hmm. against it. I think they just don't have the patience um, or they just don't know where to start. But thrifting um, is, is, is like, it's my therapy. No, oh, I absolutely love it. And I love what you're saying about it being this thriving industry. And you've really made a business out of it. And I really want to dive into that. You know, it's, it's kind of cool too for your sons to see that you've turned this hobby into a thriving business. You are officially a part of this thrift industry. So tell us how the business came about what you do, where you have the most success. Give us the insight about your website and all of that. So I 
one day I was cleaning out my closet and I was watching one of the streaming services and I would always see a Poshmark commercial. Mm-hmm. And the girl was like, oh, I just put these shoes on Poshmark and they sold like in a second. And I was like, you know what? Let me see. Let me just take these clothes and put them on Poshmark. Um, so I just tried it out. It was nothing fancy. My pictures were horrible, but I made like over $700 in the first month. Oh my so gosh. I was like, <laughs> wow so I didn't even realize like this was like people did this full time I had no idea resellers I had it was like a whole nother world for me so as I started like like thrifting and then reselling and selling the stuff in my class I realized like I could really make this into like a side business and then when I got on Instagram it was like resellers were making six figures people were doing this like for like it was a real like a real thing. So, um, I started on Poshmark and then I was like, you know what? I want to have Poshmark and my website are two different things. Poshmark has a, a different like audience. So I wanted a place where I can have for plus size women. So if they can't thrift or they live in an area that they're, they're not able to, um, thrift or they don't have a, a thrift store that caters a, a section to a plus size women, I wanted to have like me bring the thrift store to them. So that's when I would thrift pieces. I would source pieces, add them to my site. Um, and then women would purchase them. I would show them on Instagram. I would, you know, pieces that I have for styling videos. So that really started to take off. Um, and I love it. I love that I'm able to give women just I'm able to share with them a piece of something that brings me so much joy Mm -hmm. because a lot of women really still don't feel that they can thrift, but they're glad that they can get these gems because I'm, I'm going out, I'm sourcing it and I'm bringing it back to them. So I just, I just love it. Um, so the website is doing great. I actually added like style boxes and blazer boxes. So style boxes are basically if, um, you tell me things you don't like, things you like, and I go out and I basically shop for you. Um, and I absolutely love it. That is one of my favorite things to do. Um, I have great success with it. I've had some, you know, at first I was a little nervous, but now it's, it's one of my favorite things to do when someone orders a style box, because I get to go and just shop for them. And I love to get the reviews that they love it. It's just, it's a great thing. So it makes me very happy that I am helping or filling in the gap of something that is not like in the thrift stores a lot. So I just, I just love it. I love it. I mean, you're giving such really sound business advice too. speaking to two different audiences is a real challenge. And I think that that kind of advice for new people new to reselling your Poshmark audience different than your website audience. I mean, that's brilliant, you know, taking the time to curate certain looks for people who are afraid of thrift shopping. I'm blown away. So I do have to ask about the blazer boxes. Explain to me. I love style boxes. Wait, first question. Can you do men, women's, or kids on the style box? If you would like me to shop for your 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 husband, your your child, I would definitely do it. I mean, like, you, so when you buy a style box, you basically answer some questions, like what you don't like, what you'll never wear, your favorite colors, just so I can get a feel. Um, and then I go out and shop, and then I send out the box, and you know, hopefully everyone loves it. But yeah, I I shop for, for everybody. If I, if you know, if you want me to. Yes. Okay. And then, so a blazer box, is that specific to blazers? Cause blazers are hot. I yes. Mean, it's specific to blazers. Yes. So you okay. get, um, four blazers, um, that I just pick out, um, you know, what you tell me your size. Um, and I just go and pick out what, you know, what I think is trending or what I think is good or, but I love blazers. You, I mean, blazers are like the best, Oh, and they never go out of style. Yeah. They never go out of style. And the thrift store has some great, great blazers. Like, um, and you find like one of a kind. So um I love, I love blazers. There I have so many of them and I can't stop buying. Absolutely. I mean, it's just, just a staple mm-hmm. item you can't go wrong with. So question, do you actually like clean and mend things or h- how do you deal with that piece of it? It's kind of a little personal, but we got to ask the question because I know mm-hmm. listeners will want to know. Yes. 
So when I buy, get a, a, a piece, I do clean it. Um, uh, I don't mend. I usually don't buy things that I, if I have to like do any extensive um, repair on it, but I do clean the blazers, sanitize them. Um, and that's part of a process, steam them and all that. So yes, sure. I do do that. So they feel brand new to the consumer. I mean, I wonder, have you ever had anybody go, I'm hooked now, I'm going to a thrift store, thank you, you know? Oh my God, yeah. So that's my favorite part of it. So um, one of my coworkers at work, I always tell the story, she never thrifted. Like She was just like, you know, I never do it. And now she was on a weight loss journey. So I was like, why don't you just go to the thrift store mm -hmm. instead of keep buying mm -hmm. new clothes because, you know, you're still losing weight. So that's what she did. And then she has been hooked. You know, when she lived in the area, we would just continue to go to the thrift store together. She would go by herself, like we would run into each other. So she's a true thrifter now. <laughs> you converted Definitely her. <laughs> so I converted her. And I love converting a non-thrifter into a thrifter because they feel they they see like now they understand mm -hmm. like when you mm -hmm. find that piece or you know you find that gem or and you're just like it's like the thrill of the hunt mm -hmm. and they get it mm -hmm. now you yeah. know what I'm saying so mm -hmm. so I love it I love to convert so tell me do you have like a plan of attack or like a mantra that you use when you hit a store Are you like I gotta hit this category first how, how what's your plan Without of attack? Without a doubt. Okay, tell so us. My, first, my, my plan of attack, I used to do shoes first, but now my plan of attack, I always go to the sleep section first because the sleep section, I love to use robes and wear them as kimonos. And oh, they have the best. They that's have the fun. Best, <laughs> yeah, so I take robes and I wear them as kimonos because I love a good kimono. It's my favorite thing. Um, and I always find great robes to do that. Very inexpensive. So that is always my first line of attack. And then I hit the dresses because dresses are my favorite thing to wear. Um, and then I do purses, um, men's. I hit every section at some point, but the sleepwear section is always my first stop when I go into the thrift store because I love kimonos and I'm always ready to see what kind of robe they have that I can I can transform into wear it as a kimono. More, so always a sleep bag. I mean, this is such great advice. No one has ever answered the question that way. So I'm like absolutely loving this. Yes, this don't is perfect. sleep on the sleep section. They have great <laughs> kimono. They have great robes. They have wonderful patterns and they make awesome kimonos. Like if you see a kimono on me, 99% of the time it's a robe. Like a robe you wear around the house. Oh, that's so, amazing. I, I love it. Okay, so I, I know someone will ask me this question in the comments. Are you only about clothing or will you hit other sections? Like besides person shoes, would you do brick brack and that kind of thing? Or are you like all about the fashion? I know it's a, oh, I definitely buy stuff from the house. Um, we just bought a house last year. So I'm always hitting the house section for stuff pictures i think i bought like a found a uh for our bar glass set newspaper holder like i but i definitely do not just stay with clothing i definitely go into housewares everything linens curtains i'm all about the whole thrift store and i don't leave anything out oh everything is on the table everything is <laughs> on the table if i i make sure so that's why i like to thrift alone um, because I can be in the thrift store for hours. So I go through everything and then, you know, oh, they have a new rack. So by the time I come back around, there's another rack. So I definitely take my time. I hit everything in the thrift store, every area. That is, again, very good advice. Okay. So what would you say to someone who doesn't think thrifting is cool? I think they should try it. Um, you can't knock it until you try it. If you have patience, you just have to go in there with patience. I always tell people when you want to thrift, you have to have patience. It's not like going into a resale store. Every thrift store is not going to have everything in order by size. You know, there's not 10 of one thing. You just have to go in there. You have to have patience. If you have patience, a little time and, and, and look, you can find some gems. Most of the time when I take people thrifting and they've never been, it's a little overwhelming for them, but mm -hmm. since what I, me knowing how to thrift, I can help guide them. But at the end of it, they're always like, wow, I found so much stuff for under $20. So that part always draws them in. So I think if they 
have a little bit of patience, go with someone who is a avid thrifter, a seasoned thrifter, Mm -hmm. they would, Mm -hmm. they would definitely change their minds. Definitely. Without a doubt. Oh my God. You're getting me so excited. I have to go to Virginia. You need to come to Colorado. (laughs) I mean, I, I I'm, I'm loving every bit of this. All this advice is great wisdom, especially for people who are freaked out and scared to shop thrift. So I always like to ask this question. Tell us if you have a unicorn item out there that you're looking for. You know, this is an opportunity to put it out there into the universe. Ask the thrift gods to provide. Can you tell us about that one item that you may be looking for? Oh, my goodness. Um, That is hard. I think it would probably be a bag, maybe like a designer bag, like a Gucci purse. Um, Probably like something like that would be amazing. That would be like my unicorn item. Um, of course I see fakes all the time. Oh yeah. But if I were to ever come across Gucci, Fendi, any designer bags, um, I would just be super, super, super excited. Like you can never tell me anything, anything about thrifting ever again. Like it'd be like, (laughs) I got a Fendi bag. You're crazy. So so yes, that would be my unicorn item. Well, we put it out there. Let's see if the thrift gods can yes, provide. Yes, like if, if, if the thrift gods can provide. So like this, I always say the thrift gods because like sometimes I look for something like I wanted a pair of um, leather, pleather, floor leather pants, wide leg pants. And I could not find them in the thrift store. So I was like, oh, I might have to buy them retail. Now I do shop retail, you know, because I can't buy everything at the thrift store. Sometimes I don't find it. And I was like, but they were a hundred dollars. And I was like, Ooh, you know how much I can buy at the thrift store for a hundred dollars. <laughs> so I was just like, you know what, let me, so I tried thread up. I always forget about thread up. Like, Oh my God, thread up is like an online thrift store. So as soon as I go on thread up and type them in, boom, they had a pair of <laughs> wide leg full leather pants by Eloquy, new with tags for $25. And oh, I was, love like, that. <laughs> it was a perfect trifecta. I, I, they were new with the tags. They were $25 and they were just what I wanted. Wide leg, um, for leather pants. So the three gods sometimes really show out. They Absolutely. Really do. And that's it. It, it, it. Show out. It's so funny that you bring up thread up too. You know, we actually work with them and they take some of our rag outs sometimes. So, I mean, it's all full circle, this thrift world, you know, you're in Virginia, but gosh, it really is such a small world. It's incredible. I love it. You know, a, a shopping online at thread up. I mean, it's, it's thrifting. You just don't have to leave your house. Yeah. So stay on that couch. I, right? And I tell people, yeah. I tell people like, if you, if you're not comfortable thrifting online, thread up is a great, you know, a great way to start. Mm-hmm. I mean, you, you're, you're thrifting pre, you know, pre-love clothing, but you can do it from the comfort of your home. Uh, or a style box from thrifting with P, which sounds like the perfect yes, way. I yes. mean, <laughs> well, yes. on, be, on behalf, I will go out and, and, and find it for us. <laughs> I mean, yes. You really are doing a service for like spreading the word of thrift. So, I mean, on behalf of ARC, I have to thank you for that. And as always, I love to end the Get Thrifty podcast with a shout out to our girl, Dolly Parton. So I've got to ask, do you have a story for us, a memory or something that makes you smile about our girl, Dolly Parton? What do you think? Dolly Parton, when I think of Dolly Parton, I always think of the movie um, Nine to Five Mm -hmm. because I love that movie. And um, and then I think of her and Kenny Rogers (laughs) Christmas song that I used to listen to. They had a Christmas album I used to listen to growing up a lot. Um, Yeah, so those two things instantly. I can't think of Dolly Parton without Kenny Rogers. Yep. So, and then a movie with Sylvester Stallone she played in. So a lot of my, my, my thoughts with Dolly Parton are movies, um, but I did enjoy her Christmas album growing up with Kenny Rogers. So that's like a memory for me. Um, but Nine to Five was one of my favorite movies um, when she had the gun, tied up the boss. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I love Dolly Parton. That's awesome. Some some people are like shocked to know that she actually has a bit of a movie career. So I love that you know that. Yeah, she has. She has quite. I mean, I'm a huge, 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 huge '80s movies mm-hmm. fanatic. So um, if she had a movie, 
I probably watched it. Yeah. The nine to five. I watched many, many times. So. And another thing that you can find in thrift stores, those 80s movies are all over the thrift stores, right? Yes, yes. 80s movies are all over the thrift stores. So yeah, um, Dolly Parton is good with me. Absolutely. Oh, I love it. Well, Pete, you are a complete delight. Spell out for our listeners all the places that people can find you to shop, to ask for advice, to send you all of the love they have for your thrift journey. Where can they find us? Tell, find you. Tell us all the places. Okay, so I am on Instagram, again, under Thrifting with P, T-H-R-I-S-T-I-N with P. Um, same as on Facebook. I have a Facebook page under the same name. I am on uh, Poshmark, again, under the same name. Um, and you can go to my site, thriftingwithp.com. That's where you can shop my, um, my inventory and you can purchase a style box. And I'm also on Twitter at Thrifty P on Twitter. Perfect. Amazing. Thanks for joining us, P. No, thank you so much for having me. I can talk about thrifting all day. So I love any chance I can get to talk about thrifting and just, you know, just help people who are not thrifters, plus size women who are sitting at home like, oh, I can't thrift. Hopefully they hear this and be like, you know what? Let me try. We, I can. So that is all I'm trying to do is let women know who are plus size and they feel like they can throw up that they can. That's my, that's my mission, my passion. That's my passion. Well, I certainly hope we can help with this and, you know, that this content is useful to you and your listeners. And uh, we just yeah. are so grateful that you took the time. So thanks for joining. No, I, I thank you for having me, for reaching out to me. Um, it's an honor. I, I truly appreciate it. I truly do. Well, listeners, thanks so much for joining us today to learn more about P. A reminder, please subscribe and leave us a five-star review about how funny, creative, and smart we are. And if you're part of this unique thrift culture and you'd like to join this podcast, please send me a, an email, maggie at arcthrift.com or reach out via Instagram at arcthrift and now on TikTok at arcthriftstores. Thanks and have a great week. It's the Get Thrifty Podcast. This podcast was powered by Arc Thrift Stores, edited by Avocet Communications, sound by Claire Dubois.